Hello and welcome back to my Android tutorial series. This is tutorial number 17. This is a quick, simple way to replace a database using onUpgrade. Let's go ahead and start up the tutorial. And let's launch tutorial 17. You can see, looks the same as tutorial 10. That's because this is based on tutorial 10. And now let's go back out of here. Let's go to our code and increment our version of our database. Save it. Now let's run as Android application. Let's open this thing up. Let's see what it does. Come on. Waiting. Still waiting. And there it goes. Brilliant. We swapped out our database. Now let's see how we did that. First, let's look at our assets. We've got two different database files in here. We've got our Tutorial 17 main activity class. This is almost identical from the uh, Tutorial 10. Uh, in fact, I'm actually, I think it is identical. Uh, now let's look at our ingredient helper. Almost the same once again as Tutorial 10. A few minor differences. You'll note the schema version, when we incremented it and ran the activity a second time, it called the on upgrade. Now on upgrade, new version equals equals two. This just threw a thing to our log file. Let's go take a look at that. In our debug, Look at that. It actually threw that to our error log. So we know that the on upgrade executed. Now, if we look in our on upgrade, this looks really similar, or really familiar rather. And it should, because this is how we copy a file and overwrite that file. Uh, this is how we initially import our database in the first place, which we do down here in copy from db resource. You'll notice it's almost identical. The only difference is the asset we're getting is the d ingredients2.db asset. And then we're just overwriting our uh, db file path. Uh, you know, we take the same path and location, and when you use file output stream and you don't append a true or false to it, it defaults to false, which means it's not appending, it's overwriting. So once you write and flush, you're going to overwrite the existing file, which is the existing database. So let's go ahead and look through this. Oh, the, the only other thing you got to be aware of is in the, uh, where is it? Open database, which is this little method right here, uh, which is called, I believe, the third call we call in our tutorial. Uh, 17 main class we call the open database. You must call either get writable database or get readable database. If you don't call this function, on upgrade is never called. If you do, for example, like I do over here, using our in our DB exists method, when we check to see if the database is already there before importing a pre-populated database, we're using open uh, SQL database dot open database. This won't call on upgrade. Very important. This will not call your on upgrade or the on create method. So I need to make sure that gets called. So wrapped inside my open database method is get writable database or get readable database. Either will work. So that's it. I really don't recommend that you do this method. You, you really should upgrade your database without wiping the whole thing out and installing a new one. Um, that's typically a bad way to do it. You should do it using um, your SQL methods to augment the existing database because you never want to accidentally cause your users of your application to lose all their data, which is what you're going to do if you do this because we essentially deleted the existing database in the application and wrote it uh, wrote over it with the new database that we included with the new version of our application. That's not the preferred way to do it, but it is a way to do it. And if your database never gets written to, it's not, 
the worst way to do it. I still just wouldn't recommend it. Um, but this is how you could do it that way. Uh, once again, if you got any other requests or questions, feel free to uh, send them my way.